So our topic today is domain naming system and which is a very critical topic for anyone to understand. It is easy also. So, so num number one question, what does DNS server do? Simple, DNS server converts names to IPs. IP addresses. See, oh. the, pro the thing is a complete infrastructure that is we are using the TCP IP protocol for communication mm. between two computers. TCP IP says only one thing, okay, given an IP address, I will talk. Oh. So that means every computer or every website on the internet will need an IP address. That's what we know, okay. So all communication happens actually with the IP address. But the problem is for us as human beings to remember numbers is difficult. So that is mm. why each computer has a name like computer has a name of client one or computer has a name of DC one, for example, or domain name is something like google.com, right? So we remember mm -hmm. names better than IP addresses. When somebody says, I want to ping client one dot test dot com, if somebody is doing this client one ping client one dot test dot com, there has to be someone who would convert this name to its corresponding IP address because that is what TCP IP needs an IP address. But what you have given it is a name. So DNS does something known as the correct technical term is name resolution. DNS takes care of name resolution. So given a name, it will convert that name to an IP address. So it is a database. It's a database of, you know, names and IP addresses. Okay. And not only that, DNS does reverse name resolution also given. So not only name to IP address, it also does IP address. So that is what DNS converts names to IP addresses and IP addresses to names. So let's mm -hmm. understand how it does that. And also, you know, what you have to know is that so far we have never installed the DNS server. When you configured Active Directory, there's an option for DNS server. Do you want to also configure the server as a DNS server? Huh. I know we always leave it tick marked, right? Mm -hmm. So that means when you configure Active Directory, DNS server is also configured along with it. So if I click on tools, and if I click on DNS, so there's a DNS server automatically configured and with your domain. So test.com is a domain. So in DNS, there is a zone that is that goes by that name. So whatever you call as a domain in um, Active Directory is known as a zone in DNS. Okay. But how does it have this information? Now, first and foremost, you know, it create a zone, right? It will create a zone by the name of test.com. Okay, because that's the domain name you give, isn't it? Yeah, you give the domain name, but the question is creating the zone is not a problem. That is what I show you how to create and that's what it creates automatically. The question is how does these things come up? Because we have not created them, isn't it? We have not created this record. So this is the name of the computer and this is the IP address. This is known as a host a record actually. You know, if you see, it's got name and IP address. This type of record is known as a host a record. In fact, there are different types of records. The question is how do these records really come up? Okay. So if I look at server one, if I look at server one, yeah, meaning I've shown you the process, right? How to yeah. add the client to the domain. Okay. So now the thing is, when you add a client to the domain, right, to the domain, in the background, there is one setting. And I think we also give the DNS server hmm. IP also, isn't it? Yeah. And if I click on advanced, and if I click on DNS, if you see this option, Register, register this connections address in DNS. The meaning of that is the moment you give the DNS server IP address over here, right? What this computer yeah. does is it automatically creates its own record on the DNS server. It automatically registers its name and IP address on the DNS server. Yeah. This is an automated process provided this tick mark is there. If, if I uncheck it, then this record that you see over here, server one, and the IP address will not show up over here. Okay. okay, so this is known as DNS registration. This is uh, this is what every client does by default. When it knows about a DNS server, it goes and registers its name over there. Okay. All right, it's like saying how you go to the nearest Aadhaar center and make your Aadhaar card over there. Again, if you don't know where the Aadhaar center is, then how will you go there? So you have given the information to the client that this is my DNS server. And the client then makes its registration over there saying that, oh, this is my name. This is my IP address because somebody wants to find me in future. Up the setting through which these records have come up, that is known as a dynamic DNS. In fact, this ability of the client to register itself on the DNS server with records that this is my name, this is my IP address is known as dynamic DNS. 
there was a dc hmm. Hmm? meaning there was a computer hmm. you installed hmm. ad on this yeah. but ad told you that okay if you are installing me then i need dns also hmm. so dns got installed automatically right and dns got configured automatically hmm. you didn't have to do anything for this Mm. And the DC then you went to the client. Of the DNS. Yeah. Uh-huh. So DC did not become a part of the DNS. The DNS functionality got installed on the DC. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Then you went to the client, and you told the client, "Hey, there is a DNS server." So you gave the IP address to the client. That this is the DNS server. Client said, "Okay, I can see a DNS server. Let me register my name and IP address." That's mm-hmm. it. Simple. कल मेरे को कोई ढूंढते हुए आएगा तो इधर मालूम पड़ेगा उसको हाँ एक्सैक्टली सो इफ समबडी एल्स लेट्स से क्लाइंट दिस इज क्लाइंट वन एंड दिस इज क्लाइंट टू एंड क्लाइंट टू इज सेइंग पिंग क्लाइंट वन हु इज गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट दिस नेम टू आईपी एड्रेस एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी दिस टीएनएस सर्वर राइट इट्स लाइक दैट